full blown staffing crisis at local hospitals. It is yet another challenge right now created by our growing pains here in the valley. Well, thanks for joining us for 13 Action News live at six. I'm Todd Quinones and I'm Trisha Keen. 13 Action News has launched a newsroom wide initiative examining all angles of our explosive growth. Tonight, reporter Kelsey McFarland shows what's being done to lure more doctors to Las Vegas as we grow from Meadows to Metropolis. There's a lot of professions that are necessary to keep our health care system running. Doctors, nurses, pharmacists, medical assistants, the list goes on. For the purposes of this story, we're focusing on physicians and the lack thereof in Southern Nevada. Something acknowledged by Dr. Mark J. Kahn, Dean of the new Kirk Kerkorian UNLV School of Medicine. Unfortunately, with the growth in population, we have not had a growth in the number of health care providers. According to a 2019 report by the Association of American Medical Colleges, Nevada has 213 doctors per 100,000 residents, ranking our state 46, one of the worst in the country. But how many doctors do we need per 100,000 residents? That depends on who you talk to. But if we wanted to be in the top tier in the country, that number would need to double. The only specialty that approaches national norms in Southern Nevada is plastic surgery. So everything else is actually um, deficient. I talked to Mason Van Howling, chief executive officer here at University Medical Center, home to the first and only level one trauma center in Southern Nevada. He says the need for doctors is made worse by pandemic burnout. So they're working hard to keep morale up and retain the talent that's already here. It's, it's a challenge every day to be able to staff and, and take care of the patients that we do here at UMC, but all hospitals, not only within the state, but nationwide. So we're competing with a very tight labor pool. UMC takes in many residents and fellows from local universities, but at the pace our population is growing, it's not enough. So the hospital recruits nationally as well. We've got great partnerships with all the academic institutions um, and they're working very hard, but the demand that we're seeing in hospitals in particular is outpacing the, the growth of the education of the students. The UNLV Kirk Kikorian School of Medicine is the newest hope in bringing the next generation of doctors to Southern Nevada. The new campus should be ready for students by the summer of 2022. So our mission uh, at the School of Medicine is to care for our community. And part of that is producing the doctors for the future. We absolutely look for doctors who have a connection to Las Vegas uh, and look for for medical students who want to stay in Las Vegas. 36% of the first graduating class stayed in Nevada. Dr. Khan says they need to make that number much higher in the future. He plans to do so by expanding residency options and working towards having scholarship aids, meaning students can work to pay off tuition debt if they stay in Southern Nevada. Because after all, we're here to improve health care but we're also here to diversify our economy with high paying jobs, with medical technology, with device development, etc. And um, we're going to make a difference. Kelsey McFarland, 13 Action News. And so our series is going to continue tomorrow. And to watch our recent stories, you can head to ktnv.com slash news slash Nevada hyphen growth.